Hey everybody! Okay, so today I'm going to do a review that I've been wanting to do forever, but I've just I've just been putting it on and on and on and never get to it. So it is for the Max Factor Lipfinity 3D Max Wear Lip Color. And this is what it looks like. It comes in step one, um, which is a liquid lip color, and um, the lip gloss, which is step two. Okay, so they come in these duos, and I have quite a few of them. Let me show them to you. One second. Okay. Do you see them? I will show them to you individually, don't worry. Okay? So, what should I do first? Um, I guess I'll go through the colors first. I'm gonna put the liquid lip color step one on this side and the lip gloss step two on this side, just so you know. So, this side is number 730 and this side is 80. Nice, a plummy beige. Um, we got this one. This one, this side is 620 and this side is 100. We got some sort of berry reds on both sides. This one, this side is 740. This side is 80. And this is more of a brownish neutral. Um, this, this is step one, but the sticker came off. So I don't know, it's, but I can tell you the green side is 40. And this is like a, 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 um, a really dark red almost with kind of violet in it and then just a this goes on sheer by the way you you won't have green lip gloss on green lips um this side is 550 and this side is 50 again you won't get yellow lips um this side is 520 this is a nice hot pink and this is 70 I, as you can see, this is like the first one I got. You can see how it's kind of empty, the lip gloss already. Hot. Um, and this is my favorite. Um, this is $6.90. And this is $1.10. And this is like a corally pink. I love this one. Alright, so those are the ones that I have. They come in this packaging. Sorry. Uh, they come in this packaging and they come like this you can see there it says 610 and then it has a name but the name isn't on the product but this is what it comes in and this little box and um, I'm gonna read to you what the website says about the product it says, apply rich base color, then add brilliant highlight layer for a polished look. The result, endless possibilities for attention getting dimensional color that lasts up to 10 hours in your favorite fashion forward shades. A tip is the softer shades are great for day wear with or without the highlight layer. The rich bolder colors coupled with the top shine creates a striking look at night. Okay. I have to disagree with that a bit because <laughs> um, if you apply this is like any um, long lasting lip gloss lipstick that you get it's a liquid lip color liquid lip colors are very drying on your lips and once you put them on if you um, blot your lips it will get sticky and it will mess them up the way I like to apply these is um, I'm dropping everything. 
the way I like to apply these is with um the Sally Hansen invisible lip liner and that's just a lip liner that is invisible you can't see it but it works and I first um, line my lips with this and then I take I take the liquid lipstick and it comes with a dofa applicator like this oops <laughs> uh, and then I just sort of like dab it lightly or just um, apply it lightly and then I smooth it out with my lips and that's if I want a light cup a light layer if you really want to get a thick layer I just really pack it on but I recommend you to just like do it really quick because once it dries I don't recommend you to apply more or else it will get really nasty looking it happened to me it happened to me the other day so I recommend to work fast with it when you if you want to apply more make sure it's still wet while you're applying it and then after you apply it let it dry don't go like that don't dab um, and then apply your lip gloss if you don't want to put on the lip gloss you can just put on a lip balm on top and it'll be just fine so I honestly really like these I really like them I don't wear them too often because I'm more of a lip gloss girl and these do give coverage like a lipstick if you want but you can also make them really sheer that they look like you just have a, a soft lip gloss on or you can just wear the lip gloss if you want so those are the ones I have and um, I really like these and again I recommend using this invisible lip liner just because it matches every color and it's good for other products too I mean it's amazing I love this so I just take this line my lips real quick and it sort of creates a, a tacky line on the border of my line of my lips so that when I apply the lip color it doesn't go everywhere so that's why I love doing this because if I don't put this on first when I put this on it will if I like mess up my lip line it dries and then it's so hard to get off you have like a messed up lip line for the rest of the day so I really like this because it creates a barrier to where the liquid is gonna stop because this is very liquidy so it will see that it will like run if it doesn't have like a barrier so I like that um, so I'm just gonna show you real quick just a swatch even though I kind of did one already see that's it's very liquidy in texture that's that and then I would just normally like rub it out and get I would wear it like that very thin but of course you can apply like thick layers and not blend it out with your fingers and then you would get more of a fuller coverage and the lip gloss is nice it's not too sticky not too slick I like it and they smell sweet very sweet I like it so I really recommend these these are $9.99 at drugstores um, I've seen them at Rite Aid, Dwayne Reed, wherever Max Factor is, basically. And that is my review for these. I will not have swatches of these because I'm feeling kind of lazy today. But um, and it's not really about the colors; it's more about the product that I'm trying to review. So um, that's it, guys. Hope you guys um. Enjoyed this video. 